Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you the top 5 hand cannons in my opinion. Now, like I said, this is my opinion, so it probably will vary if you are watching. Now, we are doing this basis on PC using a controller, so just take that into mind when I'm selecting these hand cannons. If you disagree, let me know down in the comment section. If you agree, let me know, and make sure you put your tier list down below, because I'll be checking every comment. And just before we do start with today's video, I just want to say we are getting really close to that 30k mark. So if you guys are new, remember to hit that sub, turn on post notifications, and the gameplay you'll see at the end of this is from my Twitch. So make sure to follow my Twitch, links will be in the description. But with that said, let's jump straight into it. So the hand cannon, what I'm going to put at the number 5 spot, is going to shock a lot of people. And it is going to be the Ace of Spades. Now this weapon, I've tried it. It only says I've got 7 kills, but trust me, I haven't. This is a new one that I got out of the collections. But this hand cannon right here is probably the only 140 that is usable in the game, in my opinion. Now, the perks it does come with is corkscrew rifling, high calibre rounds, firefly, smooth grip. But the really good perk that makes this gun usable is this right here. Reloading after a kill loads a magazine with a few extra damage bullets, grants radar while aiming down sights. This probably is the best perk in the game in my opinion. The amount of damage you get, I think it does hit for around about 90 to the head with this perk procced. And just look at the stats, I've moved the face cam to the top right so you guys can see because I know I forgot to do that last time. But magazine size 13, which is really good. It's quite high for a 140. Impact, as you can see, a lot of damage. And also the range on this hand cannon, probably the best in the game for range, I'm not going to lie. Stability is only half, but to be honest, with a 140, it doesn't really affect it that much. And that is why it is at the number 5 spot. If you guys want me to make a video on this weapon, I'm more than happy to because it's such an underrated hand cannon. And trust me, try it out and you'll see. If you're on console, like I said, it's going to be a little bit different because obviously the recoil, everything like that. But try it out. It's still usable on console. It just takes a little longer to get used to. But yeah, that is what I've put at the number five spot. If you guys disagree, like I said, let me know. And remember to drop a like on the video. So with that said... Let's jump into the number four spot. Now, this hand cannon video is probably one of the hardest videos, like hardest tier list because there's so many good ones, but I have decided to put the Waking Vigil at number four. Now you can get this from the Menagerie, you can farm a God Roll. The one I have at the minute is okay, I'm gonna farm for a new one, but Zen Moment Outlaw, Ricochet, Fastro, and there's different ones you can use this is just what I prefer at the minute. And as you can see, we've got a range masterwork. But then again, the stats, if you look at the stats, it is a really nice hand cannon. Impact quite high. Range is okay. Obviously, you can get different perks. You can farm for that god roll, which is really good. Stability is brilliant on this hand cannon. And to be honest, it's the nicest looking hand cannon in my opinion. I know that doesn't really matter on how it like works and how good it is but if you are one of them people that likes nice weapons this is definitely one to get and like i said does really feel well and it is nice to use on pc and it is viable on console it's what i used to use on console actually the magazine size is 12 which is about standard you can put a backup mag on if you guys want but a hand cannon, you're looking for at least 11 bullets in my opinion, that's what I've found to be best. Anything higher than 11 is perfect, but try and aim for a hand cannon with at least 11, especially for PvP, which is what this video is about. Now, it's a lightweight frame, so it's got good handling, move faster with this weapon equipped. So, I see a lot of people using this if you're a sniper with the revoker, just because it's got that quick handling and as you can see, it's one of the best handling hand cannons in the game. So if you're a sniper, I'd definitely recommend checking this hand cannon out. But that is number four. Now, this is where it gets really hard, guys, to be honest. And don't forget, this is for this season. So, like, after this season, you'll not be able to use it for trials. So I've tried to take that into consideration as well. And this is going to be 
at the number three spot is going to be the thorn now it may shock a lot of you the thorn is such a good hand cannon but there's one thing that lets it down so we'll talk about this corkscrew rifling Accurize rounds soul devourer textured grip now this right here mark of the devourer rounds pierce targets and deal damage over time kills with weapon leave behind remnant so pretty much this soul devourer once you get a kill you can pick it up and you will actually do more damage ticking so it goes from two tick damage to seven so it's really good but the only thing is the recoil i can't fault this weapon in any way apart from this right here and it is a big factor and that is a magazine being at nine you're not really going to get more than two kills with this weapon uh, in a mag which is really what lets it down in my opinion especially in trials when you've got to fire quite a lot of bullets and you're playing a good team you just seem to be reloading quite often with this weapon so there are ways around it and i'll show you like the dragon shadow if you use this exotic obviously when you dodge it reloads your guns not only that if you're on a hunter you can double press this one if you use marksman but i don't use marksman so you can get around it quite easily but if you're not on a hunter you struggle a little more to obviously reload this and that is why i've put it at the number three spot a lot of you probably may disagree with this one and probably next season you'll see a lot more of it because obviously it's an exotic and it is one of the best ones in the game and obviously they are not getting sunsetted so that is why it will be a really good hand cannon next season but currently this meta i just think that nine magazine really lets it down but let me know what you guys think now for me coming in at the number two spot i've had to go for the spare rations now it was very very close between obviously the dire and the spare but this one I've got at the minute isn't that good. I've had better ones, but I've had to dismantle them uh, on stream. So pretty much we've got quite a few. Now, some people say range or stability, but this hand cannon, I feel like stability is a really good one to have, especially with this. The recoil pattern is okay. Like I said, I prefer that stability. It does take a lot longer to get used to this hand cannon just because it feels really fast and uh, it probably is one of the fastest sort of feeling 150s even though they fire the same you'll understand if you've used this over like a dire or anything like that but yeah kill clip fourth times the charm now you can get this from gambit prime i do believe and i think it is reckoning i may be wrong on that but it's the one with crota or oryx now we do have an icarus grip like i said one of the best hand cannons in the game if you get a good roll now it will depend on the roll you get like i said i've had god rolls and this thing's really good this one i've got at the minute is average i'd say it's an okay roll to be honest i probably want to use that range but for me i just like the stability on this but let me know what you guys think now coming in at the number one spot has to be my dire now as you can see 1300 and we've not had this hand cannon long this thing right here is definitely the best hand cannon in my opinion plus you'll be able to use it for a couple more seasons as well which gives it that bonus not only that it's legendary this one comes with fast draw ricochet snapshot and swashbuckler probably one of the nicest set of rolls you can get now i am trying to get one with opening shot rangefinder and we did spend 10,000 tokens and unfortunately didn't get them now the masterwork isn't that good it's a lightweight frame so obviously handling Everything like that is really good on it, like the Waking Vigil. This is pretty much like a top slot Waking Vigil, but a little bit better in my opinion. Impact's good, range is decent, stability is really good, handling's good, reload speed good. Overall, the best hand cannon in my opinion, and that is why I've put it at the number one spot. If you guys disagree, like I said, you're more than welcome to in the comment section. Let me know what your tier list is. I'm going to leave you with some gameplay of this dire promise, which is what I believe is the best. And as always, guys, remember to subscribe, drop a like down below, and let me know what tier list you guys want me to do next. And as always... I'll catch you in the next one.